Hi there, Christian is here for the Contour QGIS Guide. For this session, I'm going to show you how to import, export, and customize your raster data. If you need the data for this tutorial, go to the description and check the link below. Alright, let's begin and import our raster data. For this tutorial, we will be utilizing the DEM or Digital Elevation Model of the Philippines from SRTM or Shuttle Radar Topography Mission of USGS. If you want to know more about Digital Elevation Model, Google it. To import the data, you need to use the Layer tab here, but you can use as well the Browser tab here below or by dragging the file to your QGIS. If you haven't checked yet my first video on how to import dataset, especially vector data, please check it. Now let's import the data. Go to Layer, Add Layer, and Add Raster Layer. Okay, under Source, we need to click the button here to import our raster data. I stored my raster data under my The Contour folder and DEM folder. Now I have here my DEM, it's in TIFF format. Remember, most of the raster data that we use in GIS is typically in TIFF format. But there are other formats as well that you can use. Now let's click the TIFF file and click open. Then click add to load your raster data. And close this. Now there you have it. You just imported your raster data. This raster file is more than 400 MB with large file in QGIS often rendering or loading of data is very slow. If you don't want to render your data, you can disable it by unchecking the render option here at the bottom. Or you can subset or clip a particular area of your raster file to reduce the rendering time. If you want to do that, we can use a polygon or vector data as our reference in clipping. Now let's try to clip this raster file using our ADM1 polygon from our last tutorial. Let's use the Aurora province again. Now let's add the ADM1 layer. Go to layer, add layer, add vector layer, and click the button here and search for the ADM1 file. Now I'm going to obtain it from my admin boundary folder and locate the ADM1.shp. Now I have here the .shp, open it, click add, and close. Now we zoom in to Aurora province by scrolling your mouse. Now let's check this Aurora province again. Let's select this Aurora province and use it as reference for clipping. Go here, go check the select feature, and click Aurora province. After selecting the Aurora province to clip the raster file, go to raster tab here and go to extraction and clip raster by mask layer. You have option as well to clip the raster by extent if you want to use the extent of the entire polygon. But I'm using the Philippines and Aurora province is within the ADM1 layer and I just selected it. I'm going to use the clip raster by mask layer. Let's click that. Now for the input layer, you have to put here the SRTM and for the mask layer, you have to put here the ADM1 and make sure you will check this option, the selected features only to utilize Aurora province for clipping. Now let's check it. If you want to save the output for this process, you can go below and save it under the clip mask option here. 
we can click this button and save it to file. Now if you will not save it, a temporary file will be created for this output. Now let's click run. Then close. Now you have the clip raster file here. So you forgot to save it earlier. We can export this file by going to right click, export, and save us. Here you can change the format if you want to change it. But I will be retaining the GUT format. Now let's click the button here to save it. And locate our folder, the contour, and under the EM. Now I'm going to save it as Aurora Province DEM. Now let's click save and click OK. Now we can remove the clip raster file here. And click OK. Now we can uncheck ADM1 and the SRTM Geo to check our raster file. Now let's check the information of this raster data. Now let's go to Aurora Province, right click and go to Properties and go to Information. Here you can see the typical information like the CRS, the extent of the raster file and most importantly here the statistics uh, for minimum, mean, and maximum elevation data and you have here as well the dimensions and the pixel size now to further explore your data let's click OK and you can use the identify feature tool here now we can click this say you want to determine the value or the elevation for particular pixel we can zoom in, say click it here, and you can see here that the band 1 or the elevation data for that particular pixel is 782 meters. So that's how you clip and check the information of your elevation data. And lastly, Let's customize our raster data. But before customizing it, let's create another copy of this DEM. Now let's go to Aurora Province DEM, right click, and duplicate the layer. We will utilize the other copy later for generating the hill shade. Now let's go to Aurora Province DEM, right click, go to properties and go to symbology now let's change the render type from single gray to single band pseudo color now under min or max value setting let's click this and set it to min or max and then set the accuracy to actual now let's change the color here under color ramp, you can pick the color that you want. This one, or click the button here to check for more color ramps. Now I'm going to use my own color. Now classify it. Now you have the classification here. And click OK. There you go. Now let's generate the hill shape. Let's uncheck this for the meantime. And check the duplicate copy. And click. Go to properties. And under render type, let's change this to hill shape. And click OK. Now you have the hill shade here depicting the terrain on ground. Now let's add the color.
from the Aurora Province DM layer here, let's check it and to reflect the terrain and our map, we can go back to properties of this layer and set the transparency to say 70 or depending on your need say 66 now let's increase it a bit say 75 click OK now you have a nice map if you want to adjust the transparency for the hill shade you can go back to this duplicate copy go back to properties and go to transparency as well and set it to say uh, 77 and click OK if you're not satisfied with the look of your map you can always go back to the properties and adjust the settings there that's it for this tutorial I hope that you learned something thank you for watching